to understand that uh, let me begin by saying this uh, before I, <coughs> I give in, I mean I give this example how many of you know the charismatic man of God called Joel Austin anybody here now Joel Austin Joel Austin according to what I have heard <coughs> he was not even in front in church at all others were there he was basically at the back he was in charge of uh, the, uh, the editing of the CDs and the videos of the father's preaching. But when the day came, his father was in the hospital. He had suffered a heart attack. It says, the father, the father told the mother, says, call Joel. And they called Joel. And Joel came. And he told Joel. He says, right now, you must prepare to preach on Sunday. He said, Joel was very surprised. And he said to his father, you know I have not preached before. And the father said, just put on my shoes and go and preach. Don't worry about anything. Just I don't know whether it was putting on the shoes in literally or so, because the sizes may have been different. I don't know Joel, Joel went and he preached. He was very powerful. When, he came, when they came back, the father asked the mother. The mother said it was powerful. We didn't even know God can use the young man like that. But he simply said, the father said, thank you. He, told him he is to be the pastor and he left. My heart's desire is that every one of you that have been around here even a longer time that one day not necessarily here but beyond here you would become the preacher of the word of God. Joel caught the spirit of the father. Guess how? As he edited the father's sermons. That's how he caught the anointing. I appeal to you. See, these are the I know there have been complaints on the media, but we are still improving. If, as a Deacon Muso one time said it answered, he says, if you were there in the beginning when he we were begin to began to record you wouldn't have listened to anything now appeal to you get the cds 40 minutes of teaching 40 minutes of teaching is not enough for you to catch the the depth 
of what we are talking about. It's not possible. Listen to the DVDs, listen to the CDs. So today, I begin to prepare you for the prophetic word, not just for the 60th, but even as further as any time the Lord will provide a prophecy to you. Next. I begin with the nature of prophecy. Friday, I will be talking about responding properly to prophecy. Then Sunday, I will be concluding on the guidelines for handling a prophetic word. Come with me. Had it not been the Lord, I actually, there are times when I would come along on Friday and uh, I would find that uh, the house is, many of you are not here. Sometimes I feel like, okay, Lord, let's put it on. But you see, I have to obey God at all times. Uh, it is not right for you to miss a series like this. But if you happen to miss, get the CD or the DVD Father thank you again in the name of Jesus as we look to the word we look to you for its interpretation in Jesus name Amen, Amen. the nature of prophecy I will not be in a hurry and I will be done within time to respond properly to a prophetic word we must first know the nature of that prophecy in the past years I have been a Christian I can tell you I have received prophetic words I have seen Jesus mainly about twice visiting me in a very interest in, a, in a, his own person but I have not been able to really benefit from the prophetic word. It has really bothered me several times. In, on Friday, <coughs> I will be able to share with you how to handle a prophet. In, when I say how to handle a Sometimes we have judged the person to be a false prophet because the word has not come to pass which he has said. It's not like that. A, a false prophet is not defined many times by what he says, but by what he says. Um, if they media guys would reduce your mic a little bit down. It's really higher than mine. Thank you. So it's very important <coughs> for you to understand how prophecy is to be handled. Some of the prophetic words I've received, I know that this one, it is true. 
Hello na alishiwa na mabu sese moya mo na po kero kwa ati ayaya chinka. It even causes a vibe, a vibra, a, a vibration or some connection in my spirit. You know, this is God speaking. Hello chale ma no kusunti kanya kwa tira tu mwe na ni lesa ulesosa. You know that this one is God. Hello ma tira kwa na ni lesa ulesosa. I lost my master. Hello number kala ndai. Never comes to pass. Hello tachiba ne cha kuchitika. Maybe it's not the time. But many times I do know that the time had passed. Just waiting for somebody to prophesy to me how I can live for Canada. So let's look at the three nature of prophecy. Number one. Every prophecy is partial. Did you hear what I said? Every single prophecy you will ever refuse, I mean, receive does, does not have it all. Every prophecy will be partial. First Corinthians chapter thirteen verse eight. Na Corinto wachimo thirteen no mo aksomani mo eight. Prophecy. Uvu sesemo. When it comes. Elo waisa. Is partial. Uvu afie mukapimfia. If you are going to wait for it. Ngakuti mafua yokuwa timuloleni. To be complete. Ukuwa timuinga puirika. Is first not scripture. Yes, what the Bible says. Love never fails. But whether they are prophecies, they will fail. Nangula kuinga wose se mokti wafiba. Nangula kuinga wendi mina shukuti shape ni. Nangula mano na yo kuti yapwa. Cut verse nine. Hello, watuale na mwa kusoma na mumu nine. What does it say? So we know in part and we prophesy in part. No one single prophecy has it all. No. Because scripture will be broken if that happens. But true, you will Hello, na imwe ne muri no. You will not be able to catch it all. Muri no kupukuta pantu tamu akachikwa nishie. If you look about Jesus, ngamu alole shakuli yes Christu. He is prophesied by David. Hello, asese mo koko li David. He is known as the seed of of the woman in Genesis. Hello, kavi di abalubu tolo lama na kashi muku tende ka. As a servant of God by um. Hello, I should be quite warm. Warm for you, Kwale. So, ukule, ufile sosa Isaiah. It's known as the balm of Gilead. Hello, abangecha, abangecha. Fiance, fi, fi, wuse semo. No one prophet. Takuli na ngumo, uwa wuse sema, uwa sosele fe fiance. Amen. Amen. Because we prophesy in part. Pantu tu se sema fiye, mutu pinfiya. Amen. Do you understand that? Ushena mumfo echo. God. Only reveals what we need to know. Le safe asoko lola ifiofo tulefo aya ukuishiwa. In order to do His will more perfectly at that particular time. Enga chito mufo aya wa kwe mukupiri kapari diyanshita. That's what He does. He reveals only what we need to know. Ena asoko lola fe efo tulefo aya ukuishiwa. So that we may do His perfect will at that time. Bakwe ba titu inga chita umufu aya wa kwe mukupiririka. When a prophetic word comes, elo vuse semo vuaisa. It only covers a portion of God's will for your life. Vuse nda kofe akapin fi umufu aya wa kwa le samu mweka shwe. It doesn't take everything. Ta vuse nda fi onse na kariya. No. Chaka necho. Amen. Don't worry, we'll cover on the certain parts on how you can follow through a prophetic word. But the first thing on the nature of prophecy, it is partial. Say after me, it is partial. Yeah, again, it is partial. Yeah, it is partial. Let me just give a bit of a warning here. 
she miss up is it the very fact sometimes the very fact that God will prophesy on you positively all throughout yet you are living in sin does not mean he's condoning that sin. No. His love and long suffering is waiting for you to repent. But if you continue to legitimize that sin, he begins to move emotion of emotion actually exposing it not to destroy you but to deliver you from it Amen. you cannot continue living in sin and, think, and hear the prophecy it's all positive and then you say okay. no no because scripture says when sin matures it brings forth death you see you can't continue to be a liar you can't continue to be a gossiper you can't continue to be a thief in a, in in in, 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 uh, in less than tithes and offerings you, you cannot continue. continue to be an adulterer God is happy with his condoning that sin. No. Don't permit sin to mature in your life. Let me show you. Look at Numbers, I think it's chapter 32, verse 23. You must be very careful. Because in our day, I have seen and I have seen people who are prophesied on and when they are being prophesied on they continue living in sin. They know this is not right. They continue beating their wife they continue disrespecting their husbands because, because it seems like every day the Lord is speaking that saith the Lord I shall make you wealthy no no no, no. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. it does not mean the prophecy is wrong neither does it mean that God is condoning your sin no. are you hearing me but if you do not do so then take note what have you done you have sinned against God what's the next statement and be sure your sin will find you out that very sin will reveal you. It will come on the open. As soon as you begin to think, God is unfair. No, no, no. God is not fair. God is just. Amen. So when you see when God has spoken the word, you need to get a place where you, you understand. I know some people say, how can God say that kind of a thing when you yourself, maybe your neighbor knows that he, you are living in typically in sin. Then we, we hear a prophet comes and says, that says the Lord. You shall give a good pair of shoes. Of course, this one are you with me? Eh? And then suddenly, <laughs> how does God do that when this guy has been stealing? He's not even a Wait a moment. God is patient. He is waiting for you to repent. He will continue to give to you an opportunity to repent. In private. In private. 
Hello, mu, hello, Between you and him possible wenu. even seek for deliverance but the moment you continue to justify that sin will begin to move emotion that will expose you look at me for a moment everybody look at me sin does not only make you not go further it will destroy you right here so, the nature of prophecy is partial but it's not a condoning of sin. In this church, I have heard so many positive prophetic words. I've rarely heard negative ones. Have you? That does not mean we have no guys that are compromising in church. No, there are there. But you see, they are thinking that no, it's fine. No, the Lord has just spoken. No. Amen. So the first thing is prophecy is partial. Prophecy is not only partial. The it is progressive. I have alluded to that already much of it. You see, when God says, this is going to happen in 2019. That's not all. It now takes the individual. And when I share with you on the guidelines, to to take that that word, and begin to meditate on it. Because the Bible says that. The, the, that the word of the Lord it is what? A lamp. The word of the Lord is a what? And then it also says it is a light. Do you get the two things? Eh? The word of God is a lamp. And it is also a light. Now if you drive there is what they call dimming your lights in the which means you only see it from here to there but then they, they say where you are it means you see further when the Bible says the word of God is a lamp what it means is, it is the steps of the Lord when the word has been revealed today then as a lamp sometimes the word will tell you what will happen to you in future are you listening to me Amen. for example it, Joseph he can become a ruler and the brothers shall be ruled by him that's, that's what the prophecy tells him but the prophecy does not tell him that he will be sold the prophecy does not tell him that he will work as a servant in the house of Potiphar. The prophecy does not tell him that Potiphar's wife will fall in love with him. The prophecy does not tell him that he will be sent into prison. The prophecy does not tell him that in prison he will meet two guys and he will interpret their dreams. The prophecy does not tell him but it is from there he will, rather he will be forgotten. He doesn't tell him all that. Even he himself forgets the, the dream until the day that his brothers bow. 
Elo aibu kishi jaba mwenyina kwe baba aba kumufu kamina. Amen. So prophecy is progressive. Elo usese mwa bate kwa kuya. What is going to pass? Ushenga baso batira kuli ba imwe fiyo fiyo kuchitika. You have to in act the word of God. Mufuile mwa vike chewa cha kwa leso. Kulasenda unutampulo kabinino utampulo bantu chipingo chitila the steps of the bantu what hello baba ata ntikwa bwino bwino pali shukuru lesa doesn't say the journey taisoso kutila ubulendo lero itira i see where i am going nimbona okondea but i take step by step lero ndesenta ulutampulo mumo pali chilanshita prophecy is what Progressive. Let me give an example. Have you become a bit alive and say Amen? Amen. Let me give another example from Scripture. Abraham. In it took 25 years for him for the original prophecy to to be inherited. You remember that? Just in the last year, 25. You could have Abraham back in the 25 years. Pali shimi ya kaa 25 From the original prophecy When he was about 50 According to Acts chapter 7 verse 3 Elo alife nemi ya kaa ya kufiyalo wa 50 Abraham Abraham Received 11 to 12 prophecies Ali pokelele amavu sese mo Ali ya nangula leme nangula tuwa When he was about 50 Elo na yo elo ya ali 50 Elo ya kongapo Elo ya di 75 And it goes on like that Elo ya la tuwadi di la fe Ile ya fe ile tuwadi da Elo chila muse semo He's building on what he received then Elo bule tuwadi di la fe kukula Pari ife ife ya so se lo di ya It is shedding light Elo li lulele nga no kupelo lubuto To what was spoken Kuli ife yo ife ya so se lo ya So when you Elo imwe Receive a prophetic word Ma poke le la ishi wili ya muse semo And you do not do something about it Tamule chitapo ichi li chose You Receive it and get excited. And I will deal with on Sunday or on Friday. You will not be able to see the prophets coming to pass. Are you with me? Amen. Number three. I said it's progress. Second progressive. Number three and the last one. Icha kurekelesha. Prophets, the nature of prophecy is that it's conditional. Particularly the one I'll talk to about the other two. Prophecy is conditional. 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 But let's look at conditional verses and conditional prophecies. Katumone ichichireti akuchitapo fimo kabili no kana chitapo fimo muvusesemo Before I come deep in that let me bring it this way Elo shira ingira mufia shika parifi Many times I enjoy you looking at me for a purpose eh I know you are students of God's word but listen to this Amufechi You know Mwalishi wokweba I'm waiting Elo lela Okay. A condition of prophecy God can change it. Kwa ba ati kama conditional. But the process is long. Lelo ubutantiko waba uwalepa. Let's give an example. Atumwene kwa echa kumwena. Abraham. Abraham is given a prophecy. Ba mupela ubusesemu. That you know he will have a son. Ukweba tadi no kwa toma no maume. Then he has a son. Lidia kwa toma no maume. After he has a son. Lidia kwa toma no maume. Genesis twenty six, twenty two rather. Na muku tende ka twenty two. After all the prophecies and all the tests he has gone through. Panu maya muse semono kweshwa konse kwa pitamu. Twenty two. Umo muku tende ka twenty two. Something happens. Na fimo fiachitika. He is tested by God. Hello, Lesa Amwesha. He is tested by God. Lesa Amwesha. God tests him. Lesa Amwesha. God give me your son. Ukweba timpela umana obo yumwa. You need to be very careful. Mufile mwaba abasa lapuka. There are times when God will ask you for the most prized thing 
most the most prized thing in our lives is our house, our car, our, money, our children. Because where the treasure is, that's where the heart will be. You have no problem when God says to give me your husband because you know he has given you more problems. So I got so you have no problem with that. Now, if you look at that, look at what happens. Eh? When Abraham now comes before God, he lays Isaac there. He's about to kill him. He's about to kill him. And God calls from heaven. Notice the words God says. He says, now I know that you fear me. Did you hear that? Eh? Now, notice what he does. He turns the promise from a prophecy into an oath. It's no longer a prophecy. Because of, he, of his obedience, he turns it now. It becomes an oath. He swears by himself. Which means from that time, whether Abraham sins or not, that Abraham cannot be it's no longer a prophecy, Chabe. It's now an oath. And when he makes an oath, he cannot lie anymore. Whether he, Abraham commits a sin or he doesn't commit a sin. If you read further, from that time Abraham begins to go down. Abraham begins to take over. Isaac, but above it, you notice something there. At that time, Abraham and Sarah dies. Abraham marries again. And when he marries, he begins to have more children. They have no effect at all. Because it's no longer an issue with Abraham. It has become an oath. Which means it has become the unconditional trust of God. Whether the devil likes it or not. Amen. Are you enjoying Jesus? Amen. So unconditional prophecy is a prophecy that is a decree from God. It's a decree from God. It is, a it is divine decrees which are irrevocable. You can't change them. Therefore, they, they, they refer to God's overall ultimate plans. And they do not depend on the human nature for them to come to pass. No. Unconditional prophet doesn't depend on that. It entirely depends on the unlimited power of God. From the day that God said to Abraham, he has made an oath. From that particular day, whether Mary wanted it or not, there was going to be another woman who was going to be Jesus. If you look carefully, the reason why the Israelites went to what they went through it is not because they were very special yes they are it was because certainly knew 
Messiah coming through this life. So he made sure he wanted to, he wanted to completely kill them. And he left them. God preserved them. Because he had to bring a Messiah through a tribe. He can't create another Adam. He he has has to be born. But not from a man, but from a woman. woman. He becomes the seed of a woman, not a seed of a man. So it didn't matter matter what Israel goes through. If you Israel, it didn't matter how much they sinned and backslid. The prophecy must come to pass. The prophecy must come to pass. It's not conditional neither is it determined by man no. it's determined by the unlimited power of God Amen. Amen. let's give another one example of unconditional prophecy Nebuchadnezzar president Nebuchadnezzar okay. he dreams and his dream if you read the Bible, the head is of God and all these other parts, you remember? And the guy is confused. Guess what? He begins to kill all his wise men. But as he's killing his wise men, a man of God called Daniel says, No, 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 don't, don't do that. Give me a we read that in the morning. So he interprets the dream. Now, something happens, and I want you to hear me. Look at that prophecy. This guy was not born again, he was not a Jew, but he was a valuable. For God to speak through him. God can choose anybody to use. Even if you are going to hell or so. He can choose to use you. He can even choose to speak through a chicken. Amen. See, this is what happens. He says, oh, this is talks about the nations. Where we are right now, it's on the feet. Made of, mixed of clay and all this iron and so forth. You remember the story? What that means is no matter how you can call United Nations or Africa Union, you can never be one. They can never be that. Because that prophecy must come to pass. <laughs> okay. We are not learning about prophecies in the Bible. Eh? Okay. Daniel. Chapter 2. Tell your neighbor he is digressed but he is coming back. Chapter 2. Of course the guy forgot the dream. You remember that? Eh? Daniel begins to explain the dream. Let me find that part. This image's head was of fine gold. Verse 32. Its chest and arms of silver. Have you noticed that? Its belly and thighs of what? Come on, talk to me. Of what? Now, I don't have time. You will if I had time, I would have told you the head of gold, what dispensation it was. What time it was. It's not our time. The chest and arms of silver. You would have actually noticed 
That's more in the time of Alexander the Great. You come down to the belly and the thighs of bronze. That's the maximum of the Roman Empire. But let's come to the next one. Its legs of iron. Its feet partly of iron and partly of clay. Have you noticed that? Now, I want you to notice something. And hear me very well. And tell them if you don't mind. No matter how much we can talk about United Nations, or you can talk about African Union, African Union, Sadik. There will remain trade. Uh, wow, trade um, things, whatever you can call them. You can never be able to have one kingdom like it was with the head of God. That clay is our time. Amen. That prophecy, no matter what they think, it will never, be, it will never come anything. I mean, it will, it will come to pass. Until, if you read further, a stone that was not cut from anywhere, doesn't originate anywhere, it was by hands. It comes through, and it says, you watched while a stone was cut out of without hands. You notice that without hands, eh? He he the image on its, on, its feet, on its feet of iron and clay and broke them in pieces. That is the kingdom of God in the 1,000 years to rule. Jesus. However, before that, there is an antichrist who must arise. Whether you have dialogue or no dialogue. That is around. Who knows? Probably is your neighbor. <laughs> that prophecy will come to pass. That's why, even as we go into 2019, 2020. You cannot to live a nanny supernatural life. You can't afford to live by salary. Because prophecy will have to be fulfilled. Where it says the salary of a man shall only be a man. We are coming to that. Because if that doesn't come to pass, then the Antichrist will not rise. The wars, Hondo, battles, shall not cease. Whether you withdraw from Syria or you don't withdraw from Syria, it will not cease. Because that cannot be stopped. That's why the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong <laughs> and the righteous can run into it and bear sex. That is why you can't afford to backslide today. Because that's the prophecy. That prophecy is unconditional. How many of you know that the TV was prophesied many years ago? The Do you know that? Are you here? Yeah. Many years ago, the satellite was prophesied. It talks about two prophets who will be killed in Jerusalem because they will come against the Antichrist. Everybody in the world will see their bodies. How do they see their bodies? In that time, there was no television. This God is the God of the future. 
Before even social media came, he already Elo saw the he was and he Isa. already determined who will start that social media. Elo, he, he, so so he already did that. Elo, so Prophecy of that kind is unconditional. Elo, it's unfortunate that the church, particularly the Pentecostals, never learn anything on prophets. They just Hello, chave, and chave, talk about prophets. The prophecy is wonderful. But there is an to that. For example, there will come a time for some of you that don't like to do any savings. There will come a time when you realize that the seven years of plenty are ending. We are almost there when the Bible says, and money shall fail. There is a time when the Bible says, and money and it's already beginning to do that. How many of you remember years ago our fathers who used to support us from their salary? Throughout. Throughout. You go to you that? Today, even one who is senior, they have to do some other alternatives in order to support their children. Why? Because money to fail. 2019. That's unconditional prophecy. Just shake your hand with your neighbor and say, I am ready for Jesus. Tell your neighbor, I'm ready for Jesus. Prophecy, the nature of prophecy is that it is Prophecy is what? It is what? Unconditional here. Now let's talk about what we hear about. The conditional part. Prophecy is conditional. Conditional prophecy. Conditional prophecy. That's our focus, and we're closing with that one. Can only be fulfilled dependent on human behavior. It doesn't matter how much I can stand here and say, Thus saith the Lord. You shall be this and this and this. Your behavior. Lelo, if it shall up, determine whether the prophecy shall be fulfilled or not. Whether the prophecy shall be fulfilled or not. Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1. I want you to see something. We will be talking more about that sometime to come. Let, Let me just so bring it up to you. I'll give you some examples. Chimmi pele fya kumwena ko. And we'll be going home. Chapter 1. Verse, um, chapter one. verse 38. Look. Chapter one, verse 38. Read it with me. 1, 2, 3. Behold, the maid servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. Behold, maid servant of the Lord. Let it be to where? To me. Do you notice that? Which meant that if Mary had said Icona, nope, it didn't matter whether a virgin or no virgin, God was going to pass. But the prophet, that one is unconditional, it was going to come to pass, but she was not going to be the vessel. Look at verse 45. On the what does it say? Blessed, Blessed, is, one, two, three. Blessed is she who believed. For there will be fulfillment of those things which were told. Have you seen that? From the Lord. Now come with me and let me show you something. Conditional prophecy may yeah. or be fulfilled. Depending on the proper participation and cooperation of the one who has received or receives the prophetic word. Are you here? It doesn't matter, Vane, please. I have 
I, I have messed up even I'm a victim personally the condition for prophecy to be fulfilled in your life the condition of prophecy has to do with are you willing to cooperate with God if you are not willing to cooperate with God it can't come to pass even if an angel comes and says, Nangula, the, Malaika, Lord, the Lord who will lift you up and become this and this, Nangula, so so Amen. Amen. It is never unconditional. Okay, let's talk about a guy called King Saul. Remember Saul? How many so, of you know that Saul was chosen by God? King Saul, the first king of Israel. The first king of Israel was chosen by? People say he was chosen by men. No, 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 no. no. He was not men. He was chosen by God. God chose Saul to become a king of his people. But take note of something. So. 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 <laughs> Let me give it to you this way so that you see what we are talking about. Here. Because sometimes when you speak to people, they don't understand that. God had told so. His children will become kings after him. All that was lost. All of it was lost. Because of the disobedience of a father. You don't underestimate a parent. The next one I'll talk about is you will see the example. You be very careful the kind of church leadership you have. Saul so disobeyed and prophesied. Run. Run. Chapter 13. Look at verse 13. And Samuel said to Saul, You have done foolishly. You have not kept the commandment of the Lord your God. You have not kept what? Because previously, if you read at it, he had been told, he had been, he had been prophesied to him. Which he commanded you, for now the Lord would have established your kingdom over Israel. For how long? Talk to me for how long? Do you notice how conditional it is now? The prophecy was that his kingdom would be established forever. Verse 14. But now your kingdom shall not continue. Why? The Lord has sought for himself a man the Lord has commanded him to be commander of his people. Why? Because you have not kept what the Lord has commanded you. Go on. Verse 15. Then Samuel arose and went up from, from Gilgal to Gibeah of Benjamin and so numbered the people present with him about 600 men. Now notice this. After that, so repented. But even when he had repented because the sin of disobedience is a sin of witchcraft. Because people think that when disobey God, you can think it as easy as always. No. He still ruled for his tenure of 20 years. But now his children became anything. He said, God can come to Daniel and say, no, God can come to Daniel and say, I shall make you wealthy, I shall be this and this. But if Daniel becomes a robber in tithe and Offering. God is capable to cancel that. And have his children live in typical poverty. Because of the disobedience of the father. 
Bamla ndoa kukana vela kwa bashibo. First Timothy. Because sometimes Timothy, we don't understand it. As a father or as a parent, that when you disobey, prophecy can be cancelled. Yet you, you will live to the full. But the will Did I say first Timothy? Amen. I enjoy God's word. Amen. Are you sure? Hmm. Chapter 6. Look at verse 17. It's very important that you begin to understand the principle that conditional prophecy is determined by your faith and your obedience. You can't continue life like that. Of disobeying. And our doubter has played a life. I mean, making your kids begin to, to live and begin to inherit what is never was theirs. And God said it. You must understand. He is God. I say he is God. Just because the prophecy that have come to you, they have been nice, it does not mean he condones. Okay, Command those who are rich in this present age not to be haughty or proud, not to trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God who gives us rich, how many things? All things to do what? Enjoy. Verse 18. Let them do good that they be rich in good works. Ready to do what? Willing to do what? Share. Why? Verse 19. Storing up for themselves a good foundation for the time to come that they may lay hold of eternal life. There is. You see, what you do today is laying a foundation for the future. So, disobeyed and the prophecy was cancelled. The conditional. But no conditional this time we're dealing with the conditional one. If if the the one, one it's conditional. conditional. The second one, which I had put there, is the children of Israel. Please Israel. Moses is instructed by God to choose 12 people. And these are leaders in the church. They are leaders in the nation. That's why you must be very careful how you vote. And these are leaders. In the church or in the nation. They go. And when they go, they bring a bad report. Now, look at this. A national, a national prophecy was cancelled. Three million people. Six hundred thousand men. Almost many children and how many? They all perished. Because of 12, um, 10 leaders. Prophecy was cancelled. Look at Exodus chapter 6, verse 8. Six verse six. Six. I want to see what God said. Tell your neighbor and say, I'm glad he's about to stop. Therefore, say to the children of Israel, I am the Lord. I'll bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. What, do, what does it say? I'll bring you out from where? <laughs> Do you see, you see that? That's, I will re rescue you from their bondage and I will redeem you with an outstretched arm with a great judgment. Verse 7. I will take you as my people and I'll be your God. Then you shall know that I am the Lord your God who brings you out, out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. And I'll bring you into the land which I saw to, your, to give to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and I'll give it to you as a heritage. And it says, I am there. 
Did you notice that? We shall not so pay. Notice that, eh? We shall not so pay. Did it did it bring them out to kill them in in the wilderness? We shall start later. Is that what he's saying? We shall for chile so sir. No, he brought them out. Ali wa funiche. To take them to the land. Ukweba tenga wa tuala kuchen. His father, their father. Ufia fia la ili kuwe na shivu Abraham. What happened? Le lo finish fia chitike. Chapter thirteen, numbers. I want you to see what happens. So, prophecy can be conditional. Even when it comes as powerful as anything, the nature of prophecy is that it is partial, it is progressive, and it is conditional. It will entirely depend on how you will respond to it. Okay. Now they departed and came back to Moses and Aaron and all the congregation of the children of Israel in the wilderness of Paran at Kadesh. They brought back word to them and to all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. Go on. Then they told him and said, we went to the land where you sent us. It truly flows with milk and honey and this is its fruit. Now stop there. This is how guys can behave. Happen. They can tell you first of all about the good part. But bad news or good news first. <laughs> Let's move on. 28. Nevertheless, the people who dwell in the land are strong. The cities are fortified and very large. Moreover, we saw the descendants of Anak there. 29. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south. The Hittites, the Jebusites, the Amorites dwell in the mountains. And the Canaanites dwell by the sea and along the banks of the Jordan. 30. Then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and take possession, for we are well able to overcome it. Verse 31. But the men who had gone up with him said, We are not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. Proceed. And they it gave them the children of Israel a bad report of the land which they had spied out, saying, The land through which we have gone as spies is a land that devours its inhabitants. And all the people whom we saw in it are men of great stature. 33. There we saw the giants, the descendants of Anak, came from the giants. And we were like grasshoppers in our own sight. So we were in their sight. <laughs> So all the congregation lifted up their voices and cried and the people wept that night. Go on, verse, chapter 14. And all the children of Israel complained against Moses and Aaron and the whole congregation and said to them, if only we had died in the land of Egypt or if we had died in this wilderness, according to their wish, they did that. You can read at your own time and you see. Listen. It does not take the majority to decide the destiny. It detects leaders. The whole nation or so. Five million, three million. They all perished. Because of the leaders. The prophecy was cancelled. May I close with this statement? Please put it there. I want to close with it. Clearly we see. Put it there. Clearly we see that condition prophecy requires faith to fulfill and obedience to continue. Prophecy requires faith to be fulfilled in your life. And it requires obedience for you to obtain it. You can't have it until you obey. It's conditional. It's conditional. I ask the Lord this morning. What? How should we conclude today? It's time to repent. You cannot continue living in sin and think that God is happy with that. Just because he, he has he has no you on the open. You know what I'm talking about, eh? Be assured your sin will find you out. Just because God has not brought you on the open does not mean 
He is condoning the sin. Can I give you one more example then I leave? Okay. Say amen if you are willing. Amen. How many of you remember Moses is called by God? Okay. Are you remembering that? In chapter 2, chapter 3. Then Moses called by God. A great man of God. He's on his way back to Israel. I mean to Egypt. He has a road. That is the road of God now. The Bible says God met him to kill him. Have you read that scripture? God was going to kill Moses whom he has called. And guess the reason why? Because he disobeyed the word of God. He did not circumcise his sons. So God said, you are not going anywhere. Yes, I'm going to deliver my people. But prophecy can be cancelled when there is disobedience and when there is faith. Stand with me. It's conditional. It is partial. And it is progressive. So you may have back and you are ending up to the 31st. The whole of this year you have not even seen a single inheritance. The question is have you been in faith to worship the prophetic or have you been in a position where you are being able to serve by yourself in obedience to God. By yourself in obedience to God. The challenge we have had is that people are not in faith. Many people are just existing. No matter how much you can share Please listen carefully There is a God I said there is a God There is a God We need to walk in the fear of God This crookedness life we are living many of, Some of us Where you begin to live with a man Who is not your husband You begin to live with a woman Who is not your wife You are a robber in tithes and offerings You don't even get concerned about it You think God is just like that There will come a record he is going to come through. And when he comes through, the situation is not good. Because he that has the sin and together forces food for the stomach. The stomach for food. Then he said, food shall be destroyed. Because one is carrying the sin. The other is sin. Repent. Walk a life of obedience before God. Don't take God to be cheap just because he has not done anything. No. Walk in the fear of God. Determine in your life that I cannot continue to walk this life anymore. Because prophecy is partial and conditional. I don't know why I'm talking much on the tithe part. I remember very well talking to a young man I said hey do you ever remember God that God loves you and your tithing is very important to God? I mean, I'm, 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 I don't believe in tithe. I said, sure. And at that moment, I heard a voice of the Lord very clearly. He said, and I withdrew from him. And I withdrew from him. 
Today as I'm talking to you. He has no job. He's living with his, his parents. You underestimate God. You think is a joker. No, he is not. He is God. He is a father. Who loves you. But he will not permit nonsense. You can't continue beating your wife. You can't continue insulting and looking down on your husband. You can't continue as a son or as a child living a disobedient life. You hear the prophecies coming through. They are all positive. You say it's okay. okay. No. Live in obedience. No. Live in obedience. No. Live in obedience. Because the nature of prophecy is and that it's conditional. It's partial. It's partial. I want to take a moment before God. While you are standing, everybody stand. Whether you want to walk up and down, whatever you want to do, I want to talk to the Lord. And say, God, forgive me. We are going to 2019. Cleanse yourself. From all sin. Lay aside your burdens. Hello, Kabe, Mipa, Tuleni, Kwe, Fiyonse, Fe, Fide, Mifinya. Let's take two minutes of that. Katusende, Kofi, Instai, No, No. Of genuine repentance. Ukweba, Titu, Ingalomba, Uwele, Elo, Ubo, Amu, Fumachi, Umi. Saying to God, please forgive me. Kuti, La, Kuli, Leso, Ukweba, Timu, Ingambele, La, Kolo, Say. For I have sinned before you. Pantu, Imwe, Na, Dimibe, Mbukila. Talk to the Lord. Landeni, Kuli, Shikulu, Lesa. Let God hear you. Lekeni, Shikulu, Lesa, Miunfoe. Repent. Speak to the Lord and say, God, please forgive me. Because I want to inherit the prophetic word that I have spoken. The nature of prophecy is that it is partial. It is progressive. But it is also conditional. The prophecy that is coming in 2019 is not Unconditional prophecy. It is a conditional prophecy. How have you been living? How have you taken your life? What do you think God wants to do to you? What do you think God wants to do to you? Talk to the Lord, please. 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 One minute more. Talk to the Lord. Turn around your life. Oh, Jehovah God, I bow before your throne this morning. That even as I enter 2019, things shall not be the same again. Thank you for giving me, oh God. Amen. Please. Prophecy. Its nature is that it's conditional. Its nature is that it's partial. Its nature is also that it is progressive. For prophecy to be fulfilled, it requires faith and obedience. Lord, I thank you. I give you praise. You don't lie, O oh God, when you speak. Yes, Lord. You don't. No, you don't. When you speak, you have a truth. Lord, I have shared and said everything that you gave to me. Yes. Indeed to myself and indeed to your people. Yes. This day, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus.
Offering, carry your bags, ladies.